two, one. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna hit you one time, two times on Thursdays and Sundays. But comment down below if you guys love and live for my Sunday uploads or for the Thursday uploads. But since you guys loved the JLo Glam so much, I decided to do more celebrity recreations. And honestly, I wasn't in the vibe of like dressing up for this Halloween. So this dress that I got, who does it remind you of? Miss Kimberly Kardashian West. I wanted to be her at the Met Gala 2019. But this Halloween, honestly, just this year, canceled. Mm -hmm. Everything canceled for me. I have not been able to dress up, go out, have fun, anxiety in crowds. And just, there's a whole lot going on. It was a blue full moon. I hope you guys prayed and asked the universe for so much love, light, happiness, and abundance. And may you receive it. So I decided to basically film my Halloween look, but this is not really a Halloween look. You can actually do this anywhere. So I, for the life of me, for the life of me, I tried to recreate her hair look. Look at it over here, Chris Appleton. I don't know how you did that hair. Like you guys, it, I just looked like Pippi Longstocking with like wet things like sticking out like this. I like tried to do this vibe and it just, it wasn't it. So I was like, you know what? Grab some oil, spray it down. I wasted three hours trying to do my hair myself. Thank you for all the hairdressers that did not reply to me today that were not available. That is why you are getting wet dog realness right now. But this is not what her hair looked like. It actually looked really beautiful, but I just could not achieve it. I tried, but you know, she had the little clips in for a little bit. So I'll give you a little bit of that. But before we start with all of this, I would like to thank Beauty Bay for sponsoring this video. Beauty Bay has all the Christmas newness on site at the moment. So be sure to check it out for all your Christmas needs. So basically, I have been reading your comments. I promise I am extremely attentive to whatever your needs may be. And if I have not done a video yet to what you're asking for, I promise you it's probably in the works. A common question that I get is, can you please recreate a celebrity look, a red carpet look for less? Beauty Bay is such an amazing site. This store is magical, not only that it carries almost every single brand in the world, but it has its own subpart brand. And this brand is actually extremely good. It's comparable to drugstore as in price wise is what I'm talking about, but quality wise, it definitely hits the mark. And I would love for you guys to give one product a try and I promise you're gonna probably end up buying more just because it is high quality. So this whole look I'm going to be doing with every single product I've purchased from Beauty Bay. It's crazy that they have like a soap. I don't know if you say it that way, but don't make fun of me. Down to Ardell, Inglot, to RCMA. Everyone always asks me where I get RCMA from. Hit up Beauty Bay. They actually have RCMA foundation, which is top five staple foundations of all time. And a lot of celebrities wear this foundation on the red carpet because it photographs beautifully. And that's what we're gonna be using today. If you haven't noticed the color of my eyes, I am wearing contacts and I actually purchased them from Luke's Three Tone Hazel. So I wanted to look like Kim as close as possible with her eye color too. Off camera, they looked really crazy, I'm not gonna lie. On camera, they look really pretty. And in pictures, it just like doll eyes. If you are into brown doll looking eyes, looks three tone hazel. I don't know if they sell contacts online. So if you remember, her eyeshadow was the rave at the time. But I'm going to show you how to get that shadow look for less honey. Everything that I use, I will link it down below. So the description box, feel free to click on it from time to time because a lot of you guys ask the same comment over and over and over again. It's literally there. Okay, I'm gonna use the Beauty Bay Base 3. It is an eyeshadow primer. And actually, I like to squeeze it like this and I'm going to use BB201 brush. And I'm gonna tap, tap. That's all you need. I like this because it's not like too white and I'm going to pick up on that brush. The thing about this product, it dries really, really fast. So I suggest 
You better work, bitch. Work your hand. Don't get scared. I'm gonna like blend that in everywhere because the whole works. I'm gonna make my mirror float again for you guys. And I'm just going to beat that in all the way to the sides of my nose. And the reason why I am going to use primer and I'm putting it on with a synthetic brush for it to take away anything, like for it not to be too thick. The reason why I'm putting on such a thick primer, it is because it's a heavy look and this will definitely carry it. And a lot of people don't understand when they put on darker colors and glitter, if you don't put on a thick primer on your eye underneath, that's when it starts separating and doing the most and playing you. If you guys try this primer out, you're gonna really, 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 really thank me later. So this one is called Base um, 5, and which is interesting what I'm going to do with it, is I'm going to pick up a BB204 brush, and it's again a synthetic brush. I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit, and what I'm doing with this is going to contour. You guys see how like I just brought that back to life? So the way Mario, Mario Dodonovic is a very, very good friend of mine. He's such a kind person. Shout out to you, Mario. He's the one that did this makeup look. It's funny because like when I was coming up in the game, he was one of my biggest idols. I was really starstruck meeting him and learning from him. He is such a genuinely nice human being. He really is. And I thought he did such a amazing job on her makeup. So I just wanted to pay him a little homage and recreate his look. So see how that already came to life. Honestly, like if you guys would like to stop here with just primers, you probably can. You guys with any of my looks can stop at any moment. And if it's too much for you all the way, you guys can stop. And if it's not, come to the dark side, we have cookies. So with this same color, I am going to go right over here on the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to just, yes, I did that. Call the FBI. With a primer, an eyeshadow primer at that, went down the bridge of my nose. Now we're gonna sharpen it down here. Why, you ask? Since I broke my nose, I've been bored trying to figure out ways. Now I'm gonna go in with the base two. It's a really, 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 really light pink. This brush is called 206. Why I'm using a eyeshadow primer for this is because it dries a lot quicker and it holds your foundation better over it. I mean, it's kind of like, I don't know, when we use concealers for it, it takes a while for it to dry up, but with this, it dries up immediately and it stays and it takes your foundation pretty well. So we got that much done. We have on just eyeshadow primers. This is all that is people, shadow primers. Now I'm gonna go in with the first brush that I used and just buff that in like that. Now we are gonna go in, it's called the Book of Magic. That's what it looks like, and it is from Beauty Bay. And if you guys would like to receive 20% off site-wide, please go to beautybay.com and use the code on the screen. So this is how large some of their palettes come. They are for a very extremely affordable price. These are huge palettes, you guys. So look at all the colors you get in there. If you have this palette, you probably don't need any other brown palette, especially for its affordable price. And I think this is a cool palette because it has really cool reflex in it and cool tones and the way it is placed. I really like the synergy of all the colors together. So we are going to start off with the tone Amulet. And I'm going to tap that in. The thing about this look is going to be, it is heavy over here, meaning he brought it down to here, into the brow bone, up here, and then he brings it down and then amplifies it on the edge, leaving the center bright. So we are going to create a tear effect with multiple colors doing this. So we have dimension. That's just one color. Look at how pretty that color is. I always pat in color and then I buff it out. Make sure to place it right here, blow that out, and then bring it in right over here. The shadow is so buttery and it is blending so beautifully. I'm going to go in with a GH crease brush from Beauty Bay. Don't forget the code on the screen for 20% off site twice. And I'm just going to just pack it on right there on my brow bone. And if it may to get into my 
eyebrow. I don't really fully mind, it doesn't bug me. I'm gonna go back with the amulet color and whatever is left over, just blend that in more seamlessly. So this is like the backbone of it all. Now we are gonna go into this ginormous palette, the nude one. I'm going to go on the color Maple Syrup and I'm picking up on Round the Blend Brush. Maple Syrup is a beautiful reddish undertone brown, which as you can see, that's the whole vibe of like the shadow. So we're gonna kind of just keep it right in the center again, bring it in on the tear duct, and then on the outer corner, and we are just gonna blend. The whole trick of this is like your blend game. Remember, pack it in first, so you get that payoff of the color. I have my lashes done by Lashes Diana. I haven't worn this much makeup in a very long time. Cause we are going in, honey. Met Gala Glam. If you guys could pick a celebrity recreation, like a certain look, a memorable moment of your favorite celebrity, or I don't know, anyone icon. Nowadays, everyone's a celebrity. Let me know in the comments down below and I would love to recreate it for you. So we are going back in with Amulet and I didn't dip back into the color. I'm just using the leftovers. You know I love a good leftover because I believe it blends the best. So now aside from the top, she has a brownish tone going on on the bottom. I'm gonna go back into five and use the same brush. And the reason why I'm putting on eye primer underneath here, sometimes your eyeshadows a lot, actually a lot of the time, I feel like I see people doing this. Um, when they have eyeshadow on, on the bottom, it separates and it gets into your wrinkles. And then it kind of mixes up with your concealer. It's because you didn't use a primer for it. And I'm gonna go pretty like, into the bottom of this with this. And again, I'm building those colors. I'm going to go in with a strike out brush from Beauty Bay again, and I'm gonna go into maple syrup, and I am going to just pack that bitch in. With a Q-tip, what you can do is you go in, and you can just roll it out, and it blends for you guys. I scratched myself on the forehead. I ran into one of my plants, I'm so intelligent. She has more of like, um, like it's orange, but there's like a purple tone to it too. I'm gonna pick up on Warm and Cozy, I'm just going to put that right there in your corner and outer edge. We're gonna go back on amulet and this will be your eraser color always. You like if you do too much of anything else, even the outer edges, use this color to tone down everything. Now with that same purple color, warm and cozy. You guys see what I do? I'm like, I do that squint thing because I feel like her eyes always look like that. It's like very sexy and sultry. She wears eyeliners, but I feel like what a lot of people don't know, she wears a lot of like reflect liners. And I'm just gonna use this color because I think it's complementary to the brown contacts that I have on right now. And it's a greenish blue tone. Again, it's from Beauty Bay. It is called Deep. So I'm gonna put it on my waterline and it's like a dark green. And what Mario does a lot of the time is he goes and hits like past the lower lash line. Again, please feel free to comment down below if you guys like how I do my makeup or if it looks good, you know. And again, with a shimmery tone, we're gonna go on your upper lash line. And I'm gonna get in on that inner corner. What I do is I like open my eyes like I'm scared of something. Like when I first saw these contacts, they scared the shit out of me until I put them on. Close your eye, pull, and bring across. I pull it like this, and I kind of flick up. Then, using the BB210 brush, the Beauty Bay brush, it's really good for blending liner. I close my eyes, and I'm gonna smolder this out, and I'm gonna flick it out just a tiny bit, because she flicks just a little bit, just a little bit. Following the same thing on the other eye. These um, pens really do glide on like butter, and they're really easy to use, especially if you don't know how to do eyeliner. It's kind of stupid proof. And if you don't get it right, you can just go back in and keep blending it. You're not stuck with, not that I'm calling you stupid if you don't know how to do liner, a lot of people don't know how to. 
but you know what I mean. We're gonna connect it from the bottom and pull it together. We need a little bit of pink. I'm gonna go in with coral. This is what it looks like, it's a blush. Now, if you know me, I like to use a blush a little bit and then put the same color on the cheeks so it has some kind of monochromatic effect and I'm just going to tap it very lightly and then I will also tap it right over here on the edge. Now, going in with the center part, Oh, I almost forgot. I feel like this makes a very big difference. Your tight line. I look so crazy doing it. So, really cool thing. If you guys didn't know, these like pull out pens have sharpeners. Now I'm gonna go in with Inglot. And if you guys didn't know, they carry Inglot. Inglot's one of my favorite brands in makeup. And a really cool thing that you guys probably didn't know about Inglot. So Inglot has Duraline. In my opinion, Bobbi Brown and Inglot is like one of the best liquid liners in life. So I like to take the Duraline, pick up, drop. I'm gonna pick up on the Anastasia Swish Brush. It just like completely liquefies the product. If a lot of you guys complain that this is too dry. And I'm gonna make sure the brush really gets in there. Very lightly, I'm just going to make a very thin, thin line with this close to the waterline and I'm gonna sharpen the inner corner because if you know me, you know I'm the queen of that. I am gonna put it on the edge of the waterline. I am gonna go on the inner corner and just flick that. And with the Inglot, I think in my opinion, like to do that inner corner sharpness is very easy because it doesn't smudge. Now let's get into the glitter, darlings. Now I'm going to pick up on Sketch It Out. Literally just drag that Inglot out and it comes right out because of the Duraline that we used. I'm gonna use the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer in Vanilla. And again, they have this up Beauty Bay. They have a lot of brands there. I'm going to use a Stila in the color Grey Fox. And I am just going to lay that down, kind of like a triangle. And then I'm gonna pick up on a Hide and Sleek brush from Beauty Bay and just move that around. And again, you don't have to use this color, you can use any liquid that you have to go in the center. I'm going to go into Metallic Dusty Rose from Stila. From Stila. How do we YouTubers do it? That's what it looks like. I'm gonna pick it up on my little pinky. Just place it right there, it makes it look wet. So, now the trick is with this color, it actually goes pretty high up. Now I'm gonna go in with my metal spoolie and just brush out any fallout. Let's get started on the skin. So the really quick thing about Beauty Bay is they have RCMA and I've put this foundation on a million and a half times. I love it, it's one of my top five. So we are going to use that foundation today. I am using Shinto 2 and I am just going, the reason why I love this foundation, it literally looks like skin. I'm going to pull that in, in the centers and I'm patting it in first um, in the areas that are, are gonna be highlighted. You guys, I love this foundation so much simply for the fact of how it like comes out on camera. Look at the difference. Now the thing with this look, I feel like it's all about her eyes do the talking and her skin just looks like completely flawless. So we did that with Shinto too. Look at how fast that was applying it. I feel like I've shown you guys a hundred million ways to contour by now. And on each client, it's so different. On each look is so different. Now we are gonna pick up on Shinto V333. And it looks like that. And I'm just going to make a line with the other side of this brush. Gotta look hella snatched if we're trying to give you Kim Kardashian realness. I'm uh, just gonna go a little bit on the lip, not too much for her. She has a very outstanding Cupid's bow in this look. I feel like I should start going like this. And I'm going on the lip over here. And remember, all I have on is the Jouer. And I'm just 
simply blending that in. Don't even forget, we haven't even put on um, concealer yet, you guys. How crazy is that? Just very lightly, because I still want to look snatcheroni. On the bridge of the nose, again, I'm going to put that white color, that pink eyeshadow base. I'm gonna grab the nude sticks in the color Sunkissed. I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks, grab it. Actually gonna rub it all over the lips. Just gonna grab a synthetic brush and beat that blush into this. I don't have concealer on. So I'm gonna take the RCMA, the number two light palette, and I'm just gonna beat it into my lip. You can make lipsticks with lip liners and foundations, or you can make lipsticks. Literally, no lie, I just did. I had on the Jouer chapstick. I did a brim, a darker brim, and then I put the lighter RCMA in the middle. I'm gonna use Power Play Concealer by Cover FX in light two, and I'm going to use the brush that I always use for concealer, and I am just going to place it on the sides of my nose, around it, and the cool thing about this foundation is, honestly, it's very saturated, meaning that it looks like it's a lot going on, but I promise you it's not. It's a very light wear foundation. It's just very saturated and very vibrant. When you're purchasing it, don't forget to use my code that's on the screen at beautybay.com. Just gonna very lightly lighten anywhere we want to stand out. Go right there to stand out. I want my upward lip. And a cool way if you have a dark spot is to wait for it to dry and pack that in. Now with the residue, leftovers. Comment down below if you guys have another word for like leftovers. Pull it up like that. I like it like that. Not in the center of it. And just make it look seamless with the contour. Now, down the bridge of the nose. Remember Shinto too? So all we're gonna do is we're just going to press and that's it. I'm gonna go and just really make sure there's no creases. If you guys have not tried out the Inglot setting powder, please give it a go. I really like teaching different ways to do makeup because it's fun looking different. It would be boring if you did the same thing over and over again in makeup, don't you guys think? Be inspired to do makeup. Make everything around you beautiful. And don't do makeup to like cover up anything. It's just like fun. It's fun for me to do it. So getting the full contour brush, I'm just gonna go in one more time just to make sure I have zero creasing. And it's a clean brush, you guys. There's nothing on it. The Inglot powder looks something like this. Pick up on it. Now, this shit is very finely milled. You might sneeze or two. Now, Kim K is known for that like blown out concealer look. That's like her whole vibe. But I feel like as the years have passed by, she's definitely toned it down. But she created like that whole movement. But how good is this powder? Look at that. Inglot is like, I feel like one of the best brands and it's so underrated and people don't know what it is. Comment down below if you stopped to purchase this powder right now and let me know how you like it. And I feel like Kim always has like a little forehead glow. So I'm not gonna put it everywhere. I'm just going to pack the rest in. Just to give, I feel like she always looks like a doll with her skin and this powder definitely does give like a doll-like image. And I'm just drawing in the edge, but like not that crazy because I feel like there's way thinner brows than I do. They're more rounded than me. I tried my best to round out my eyebrows as much as I could. She has a really beautiful round brow shape. Now we are gonna get into the bronzer. This is what it looks like. I really like the packaging to be honest. It's called Fawn from Beauty Bay. You guys, their powders are seriously divine. This is the first time you've not seen me use Serge Lutens. There's one last thing I feel like I'm missing from the eye, definitely. Definitely is going to be in the Book of Magic palette. I feel like I need to like get more brown under the black. Now, we're gonna use blush. It's called Peachy, how appropriate. I know I already put on a liquid blush, that's why I need just a tiny bit. And I like to put it all across the face. And down the bridge of the nose, there's a collar called Collar. 
There's a color called Alchemy. How appropriate for me, right? I'm gonna go down very lightly the bridge of my nose. One last moment. It's lashes time. Using duo glue. I'm personally not a big fan of mink on my eyes, so I don't know about you guys, but not my way. You have to be really gentle when pulling these lashes off. I'm gonna use the back of a tweezer and apply the glue. While we wait for that to get tacky, I'm going to use the Aiko. It's a tube magic, black magic mascara. It's a little curled. Um, I already have on lash extensions, so I'm not looking for too much going on. A little help will do. And she has on mascara on her lower lashes. You know how some people are like, I can't do mascara. I know Kim always says this. She can't do mascara unless her mouth is open. Grabbing on lashes. I put it on on the center and then I do the inner corner and then I do the edge. Do you guys like it? Because it's so different. I feel like a lot of you guys have been liking different on me, so I'm giving it. And I like to take a tweezer and just separate it and make sure like the lashes aren't like clumped up or turned around. I've literally just been spraying this shine spray. I spent so much time doing my hair. Literally, I'm not joking, three hours. I'm really upset because I'm usually not a quitter, but it just looked so crazy on me that I just, I couldn't. We put a bunch of shine spray and actually it smells really good. We got some good old mousse. We're gonna get it. Remember middle school, high school? I did this in middle school. Now we're gonna go back to the lip. I'm using Kevin Aquan, the Flesh Tone Lip Pencil in medium. You can again get this from Beauty Bay for 20% off. I'm not gonna overdraw too much. And then I'm gonna use Inglot. It's just a clear gloss. One last thing, I feel like her boobs look so extra, you know, gooey. And um, this is the Saint Tropez One Night Only Gloss, baby. We are just picking up on any synthetic brush and the color Medium Glow from Jouer. Again, they have this at Beauty Bay. Get that gold, bitch. Makes your boobs look bigger when you do this, by the way. I feel like her hair was like, if it was like shorter like this, you know what I'm saying? It was like this type of vibe. Did I get it right? It was like, imagine if it was like flatter. Do you guys agree? It was at that length, but I just, I can't. I tried, wasted three hours. I really, really tried. I don't know who I thought I was. I did tape and extensions on myself. I even tried with a dress. It has like the little raindrop. Dropped up. Smoking on cookie in the hot box. On your bitch shit, thought that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot pot. Hope you guys liked this Kim K 2019 Met Gala tutorial. I mean, I couldn't do the hair, but you know, I did the best I could. I even hit it with a matching outfit with the raindrops. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget, use this code to receive 20% off site-wide. I mean, time to buy Christmas presents. The clock is ticking. Christmas isn't canceled, but everything else was canceled. Christmas is like a, it's a good holiday, so it's not canceled. So I want presents, you know? My birthday and Christmas never canceled. Doesn't matter what's happening. Have a nice day. Bye.